Hey everyone, it's Rainash30, and today I've gone through the evolution of Batman Beyond and all of his appearances in the DC animated universe. So, to find out how this Batman has changed throughout the decades, allow me to fill in the blanks and let's get started. Number 1 Batman Beyond We start off with the classic which nobody wanted, but nonetheless became a success as one of the best Batman shows ever. Anyways, Staying in the DCAU continuity, and about 20 years after the new Batman adventures, we find Batman with a new black and red suit. Despite being older, he continues to fight crime, but when he suffers a minor heart attack and becomes desperate enough to threaten a thug with a gun, he decides to never be Batman again. Now 20 years later, we meet Terry McGinnis, who after meeting Bruce Wayne, accidentally discovers the coolest place ever, the Batcave. When his father's investigation into Wayne Powers cost him his life, like Bruce when his parents died, Terry took matters into his own hands and became Batman. After making his father's killer pay, Bruce realizes that Gotham needs Batman and asks Terry to take up the mantle. Terry then has unique adventures, makes new allies, but also makes new enemies, like Ink, Shriek, and Blight. We see throughout the series that like any teenage superhero, Terry has trouble balancing his costume life with his love life and his responsibilities. But despite this conflict, he's still able to protect Neo Gotham. Where do you think you're going? To Vance's lab. To stop him. How? I... Uh... Look what the suit did to that wall. You think you can go up against that? Sometimes I ask myself, is Batman just the suit or is the man inside? Time to find out. Number 2 Batman Beyond Return of the Joker About two years after being Batman, we find Terry trying to stop a new gang of Jokers. Though after losing them, he and Bruce attend a party where Bruce retakes ownership of his company. The Jokers then attack, and the Joker returns with a grand appearance, but following their escape, Bruce doesn't want Terry to confront him and ask for the Batsuit. Terry disagrees as he wants to be Batman and atone for past sins. Though after an argument forces him to return the suit, he discovers that the Joker attacked Bruce. Feeling like he deserves answers, Barbara reveals the horrifying story where he kidnapped Robin, turned him into Joker Jr., and in the end was killed by him. When Terry later looks for Tim Drake, he and Bruce discover his transformation into the Joker caused by an implanted microchip. Though after a battle with him, Terry shorts out the chip and saves Tim from an explosion. What are you doing? Fighting dirty. The real Batman would never- <coughs> Told you you didn't know me. <coughs> Funny guy. Can't say the same for you. <coughs> Impudent brat. Who do you think you're talking to? Not a comedian, I'll tell you that. Number 3. The Zeta Project. In the spin-off series, taking place after meeting Zeta for the second time, Infiltration Unit 7 continues searching for Zeta and tracks him to a mall in Gotham City. When it begins attacking, Zeta and his friend Ro are able to trap him. But back in the Batcave, after hearing the report, Bruce and Terry see Zeta in the mall security footage and think he's responsible for the chaos. Terry then becomes angry with himself for trusting he wouldn't harm anyone and tracks him to a hospital, where he attacks him but learns Zeta isn't responsible. After discovering that the infiltration unit impersonated him, he helps Zeta defeat him, apologizes for not giving him the benefit of the doubt, and then leaves. Zeta, you are out of options. Try the sound alarm. No? Then how about the daily special? <laughs> Number 4. Static Shock after the new Batman adventures, we find Static in the Batcave helping Batman study a criminal's time machine. But when Static gets caught in its field, he's pulled into the machine and sent 40 years into the future. Static then discovers a new Batcave where Terry arrives and engages him in a fight. Though Bruce reveals he's Static, Terry acts surprised as his Static is 40 years older. Since Bruce has been expecting his arrival, he asks him to help him find his future self as he's been captured by Cobra. 
Batman then partners with Static as the Justice League and Gear are busy and goes undercover to get into Cobra. So when they later find their platform, they break in, fight their army, and help set free the future Static. Batman's not going to be happy when he hears how you've been treating his guests. First, we don't have guests here. And second, I'm Batman. Ugh. Getting sloppy. Sloppy, huh? Number 5. Justice League Unlimited When Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern follow Kronos into his time portal again, they arrive in an alternate future. Terry and the remaining members of the Justice League then arrive as enhanced Jokers are waiting to ambush them. After realizing they're outmatched, they escape to Terry's old high school or the current Justice League headquarters where we see old Bruce Wayne meeting Batman, which rarely happens. They then begin looking for Kronos as he's damaging the space-time continuum, but when they find him, a time shift occurs where soldiers appear and begin shooting Terry. The DD clones then grab him and electrocute him to death, but after Batman reprograms Kronos' time belt, the timeline is restored to equilibrium. This is all we have left now. Deal with it. Surprised to see me? A little. I'm more surprised that I lived so long. Batman, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, Batman. Or have you met? Not now! Great. What did they used to call it? Stereo? In another episode, the plot serves as a conclusion to the Batman Beyond storyline. We find Terry breaking into Amanda Waller's home to find some answers, as he reveals that after checking his DNA, he discovered he was Bruce's son. Angry at Bruce for believing he needed a successor, Amanda reveals the truth, that she's responsible for overriding his DNA as she realized that the world will always need a Batman. Still thinking that being Batman is a curse, Amanda convinces Terry that he's not Bruce's clone, but his son, and if he wants a better life than his, he should take care of the people who love him. Kent called. Nothing apocalyptic, he just wants your opinion on a case he's working. Said you could meet him at the Metro Tower. Right. Better suit up. You should eat something first. Keep up your strength. When I get back, you're a stubborn piece of work, you know that. Just like my old man. Number 6. Batman, the Brave and the Bold When Batman gets seriously injured, Aquaman, Shazam, Green Arrow, and Plastic Man decide to become Batman and protect Gotham. While stopping crimes and defeating supervillains, the Joker attacks and manages to subdue all the Batman imposters, though the real Batman later arrives and takes down the Joker. After a wormhole opens and Batman from across the multiverse arrive to help, Batman agrees that they can join his patrol, and we then see Terry's Batman making a 3 second cameo in the top right corner. Would have been here sooner, but wormholes are tricky business. <sighs> okay, but just for tonight. Number 7. Darwin Cook's Batman 75th Anniversary Short As Batman has created a legacy and franchise spanning over 80 years, back in 2014, Darwin Cook created a short of Batman Beyond to celebrate 75 years of the Dark Knight. We find Terry arriving in the Batcave as he discovers that Bruce has been injured and Batman has attacked him. Batman with his new adventures look then battles Terry, but after Terry discovers it's an android, which I'm guessing is a reference to Hardax androids from the animated series, it gets blown up and incinerated. As Bruce takes his utility belt, he and Terry discover additional androids of Batman through the decades. Who sent that thing? It didn't say. Whoever it was. They didn't stop at one. Seven against two. Pretty bad odds. For them. And that's the end of Batman Beyond's evolution in the DC Animated Universe. Now if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and hit the bell notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next evolution.